All right, you've just been listening to the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's latest update, and we're going to turn things over to CTV's uh, Michelle Boyer, who's going to join us live from Ottawa to go over everything that was just discussed moments ago. Michelle, good to see you this afternoon. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thanks, Andrea. Yeah, this is a significant announcement from the government of Canada, $10 billion to ta tackle some of the challenges that this country is seeing, liberal priorities, but the Liberals also spinning this and saying that it will create 60,000 new jobs. Now, look at it this way. They're using money that has already been announced. We're talking about three years ago, $35 billion for the Infrastructure Bank of Canada. $10 billion of that going to these priorities. We're talking about a number of things, including, uh, if we can bring up that board, broadband internet uh, to 750,000 homes. There we go. Uh, $2 billion. Uh, for that, um, at homes and small businesses. If you live in, you know what, anywhere that isn't a rural center, you know that getting high speed internet is a challenge. Mm -hmm. $2 billion for large scale building retrofits, making buildings more energy efficient. Uh, 2.5 for clean power generation, 1.5 for agriculture irrigation projects. Uh, that's particularly targeting some communities out west and $1.5 billion for zero emission buses and charging infrastructure. So all of that seed money from the Infrastructure Bank. Um, Michael Sabia, by the way, who used to run the Quebec Caisse de Dépôt, very well respected, mm -hmm. uh, really turned that organization around fiscally. Um, he is leading the bank now. It's a new appointment. And the government, and he says uh, that really by putting this $10 billion into different projects, he's hoping that it will bring other private corporations to invest as well. Take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Projects where the bank's investment can act as a catalyst to bring in third-party capital now, or where our participation can open markets for private investors in the future. By attracting other people's capital, the bank maximizes the value of every dollar of taxpayer investment. In this way, we can stretch $1 of taxpayer investment into 2 or $3 of total project investment. This is value for taxpayers. And finally, return. Projects that enable the bank to earn our capital back. So it kind of goes to the expression, build it and they'll come. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrea, that is something that uh, this, these projects, uh, you know, the, the organizations are hoping that these projects are going to do. Yeah, and you know what, it's, it all sounds like really good news, but how soon are we going to start to see that money flowing to these projects? Yeah, they have to figure out what the projects are going to be. I'm sure that there are going to be a lot of private corporations that are going to be knocking on the doors of the Canada Infrastructure Bank. Uh, the government is saying, though, that you know they're hoping that this is short term. We're talking mm -hmm. about some projects. We don't know exactly what they are yet. Uh, but within the very short term, we're talking about it actually even before the end of the calendar year. That's what we heard today. All right. Well, thank you so much for that, Michelle. Thanks, Andrew. Take care.